Yo, 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 what's up, family? Before we start the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and share to any and everyone that you can just so we can get out there a little bit more. With that being said, let's get right into the video. As you can probably tell from my voice, I'm very sick right now, but I feel like this was important to get out. So the Celtics signed Lamar Stevens, and in this video, I'll do a quick full breakdown of the Lamar Stevens game based on last year. So here we go. The best thing about Lamar Stevens' game is what he does at the defensive end of the ball. He is a premier perimeter defender he has elite strength at that side of the ball and he is just a hard-nosed guy i think you know the celtics lose a guy like marcus smart who brings a lot of grit and energy and effort lamar stevens is not as good as marcus smart but in terms of the grit the effort and the energy i think lamar stevens can bring some of those same qualities that smart bro the main thing that makes me think he can resemble smart is his strength at the side of the ball it allows him to guard bigger players and body up people like Giannis in some of these highlights. Looks to creep baseline, dumps it back to Jamichael Green. He got it knocked away by Stevens. Stevens with a pass. Something that also helps Lamar Stevens at the defensive side of the ball is his athleticism. Along with being strong, Lamar Stevens is a great jumper. And with that athleticism, Lamar Stevens is a violent finisher at the rim. You will rarely see him going up with a soft layup or a soft take because he's looking to take the rim down. He's dunking on guys like Jokic. He's going in there trying to finish. And that's another thing the Celtics team needs. We need guys to just be hard-nosed and take pride in what they do. And whether that's on offense or defense, Lamar Stevens does everything at 110%. Last season, Stevens made 61% of his attempts at the rim. He's not a polished driver. He's not a guy that's going to consistently take the ball from the perimeter and drive in and make plays from there. So a lot of his inside buckets are assisted. But that does bode well for him because of how good he cuts. Stevens is a very heady player and he is someone that understands positioning on both sides of the ball. He consistently does a good job of moving towards the ball handler's line of sight so that if they need an outlet, he's right there for the dump off. The level of IQ shown on some of these cuts are just another reason why the Celtics picked him up. And again, he's agile and athletic enough to attack on the move and just go straight up right after he receives a pass. Hesitation moves, gets in toward Gobert by Stevens. An area of improvement for Lamar Stevens is his three point shooter. He shot just under 32% from three last season and just over 32% on catch and shoot threes. He is the guy that will be recognized on opposing scouting reports to be left open more often than not. So it is vital that he knocks down these shots at a respectable clip so our main scores like Tatum Brown and Porzingis aren't getting double teamed without consequences. He does not like the corner three only shooting 27% from there last season but he loves the above the break three shooting 41% from there so maybe we can look to get him some shots in his comfort zones. Not one in the second half. Open three. Stevens drills it. Something that was very surprising when I was watching a couple of his games was his ability to score out of the post. No, Lamar Stevens would not be getting planned post touches with the Boston Celtics, but he could be a viable bailout option when the shot clock is going down. Once again, his trip comes into play here as he's able to back down people smaller than him and people his size. The post fadeaway isn't something that looks particularly pretty, but it's something that has gone inconsistently from when I was watching. He doesn't have any sustainable post advanced numbers just because of the frequency he was so low, but he did draw fouls on 41% of his post ups last season, which was in the 91st percentile. Stevens works in toward Giddy. Spins, takes a 15 footer. But that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe, and share it any and everywhere you can. I would greatly appreciate it. Comment down below if you think Lamont Stevens can help the Celtics. But this is Nick. Peace.